Okay, uh, welcome to my another tutorial. So in this tutorial, I will show how to create this uh, pipe bending animation. So start from, so I will divide this video into three section, part one, part two, and part three. Part one, which is uh, how I create this uh, setup and then you will learn how from the single file like this one it automatically become the each of the individual part here and then related uh, link each other so when i change this geometry or dimension it will reflect in this uh, inventor assembly file and then the second one i will do all the constraints needed to this one and also the third one it will show you how i create this uh, animation okay let me open the animation pane as you can see if i play this it will open the clamp and then clamp and then a uh, bending first bending second and then it will rotate automatically also like that okay so it will create all those uh, individual uh, bending animation as needed okay like this so i played it one more time okay uh, so it will rotate like that and then the last one is the bending okay okay let's get start to the this uh, series of the videos start a new ipt file using the standard millimeter ipt Yet. Start with the 2D card in XY plane using the line here. Okay, change it into the center line and then put it the midpoint to the center. Okay. Create the circle, 10 millimeter diameter, make it vertically aligned with the midpoint, create a dimension, you notice that the dimension automatically create the diameter dimension, use 60 as a diameter. Create a rectangle, okay. trim in the center here, okay. and then make it the same length here and here, and also make it vertical here, okay. already vertical. Make it collinear here and here, okay. and then give the dimension thickness, okay. and then edit this one. We don't need. And then make a coincident between this one and this one, this one and this one, okay. and then make it vertically align this point here with the center point okay fully constrain the sketch since we have to fully constrain the sketch we can exit the sketch and then do the revolution revolution re using revolve select the center as a profile and then since i select the axis they will automatically detect the rotation axis okay. revolution revolving axis okay. I will use visibility to open again one more time for the sketch and then I will do the extrusion here I will change the direction put a 20 oh, sorry 
50 as a length click ok ok and then I want to edit the sketch and then add another construction sketch here here and here okay put added another dimension 20 millimeter okay and extrude here using the flip component at the same length okay but I will create a new solid for this one okay so notice here there is a one solid and two solid okay solid one I will rename it using name base solid two I will rename it using plan okay and then I will add another one over here okay using 20 as the length and then also create a new solid okay solid 3 we name it rotate plan okay okay then save the file uh, pipe pipe pen okay I'll save it okay you can turn off the visibility then I will change the color base here I will use a uh, glossy code and then for the clamp I will use the wrap and then rotate clamp I will use the magenta okay after that I will go to the manage here and then make it a component click make component so this one actually we make a component for the respectively three parts here and then they will automatically also create the assembly file and then don't forget to choose the template for the file and then select the base and also the clamp and also the rotate clamp okay next this will respectively will add another the file naming base will be base.ipt clamp will be clamp.ipt and then etc if you want to include the parameters you can click include parameters but since in this video in this file i don't have any parameters so i will leave it like that and then i will click ok after you click ok they will create a new file which is called pipepen.iam okay and then after you save the inventor will save respectively and create this respectively component click yes to all and then click ok okay but when you notice here this file is haven't have uh, any constraint relationship assembly constraint relationship for example if i unground this and then i still can move because there is no relationship between those two okay. okay I will undo so this file is right now is a uh, link each other which is this pipe band so for example if I want to create another editing here so let's say I will create a sketch here and there is a dot which indicate the point now finish the sketch and i use this dot to create a hole okay like that 10 millimeters okay you can see here there's no hole okay but since if we save okay and then back here and then there is a lightning 
icon over there and then you can do this one as well use, using local update if I click local update they will update automatically according to the source file this is the source file okay okay so in the next session I will continue to create this uh, relationship of each other which is this is a assembly constraint and also the how to constrain and how to put the parameters okay see you in the next video